If you want to make some picks on your favorite sports, check out Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em Game, where you choose higher or lower on between two to eight players and can win up to 325 times your entry. And using code Zerk when you sign up, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. The whole thing wobbing. So season two drops tomorrow morning at 10 30 a.m eastern we have the reveals to get into i do want to give a shout out to savage for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel turn notification bell on and comment down below noti gang also guys there's a college football game tonight at 7 30 make sure you guys get in on that and also there are three payout booster tokens you guys have until 5 a.m eastern time to use your three 10 percent payout booster tokens and if you guys check out underdog fantasy right now using code zerk you'll get up to a thousand dollars in bonus funds and only when you guys sign up using code Zerk will you get the Travis Kelsey 0.5 yards free pick and the Dak Prescott 0.5 yards free pick. Also, there's so much more stuff coming, guys. Tomorrow, we have a no sweat token. There's a bunch of different specials as well coming this week. Whole lot going on on Underdog. All right, guys. So let's get into the season two players. Now, I do want to let you guys know, like I said, the promo or the field pass is going to be dropping tomorrow morning. Uh, should be out at 1030. We do actually have, I believe, at 6 or 630 in the morning, uh, we're going to have the servers going down. There's going to be an update. I believe we may even see a title update overall tomorrow. Uh, so just be on the lookout there. But season two drops tomorrow. These players right here, these are actually going to go ahead and be the players that we can get to upgrade throughout season two so absolutely yes i will be making a video going for the best season two players to go ahead and pick uh to upgrade first we don't know the rewards exactly in terms of like the field pass rewards and everything all we know are these cards right here and i also don't know how many of these we can get totally for free i know that in season one we could get three players all the way up to 85 these are 89 so these are gonna be pretty good starting off though we do have stefan diggs uh he has 87 speed 88 catch 88 catch and traffic he also does have 86 spectacular catch he's got 88 short 86 medium and 85 deep route running so stefan diggs honestly looks really good i mean he's got 87 speed right that's obviously very very good that being said if you guys watch my morning video you know we already know that xavier worthy is coming with the game time promo this is coming thursday and i believe he's gonna have 88 speed more than likely so in terms of speed on wide receivers Yes, Diggs is really good, but I do think we're about to go to 88 plus speed on a lot of wide receivers coming out very, very shortly. So there's Stefan Diggs. Uh, after him, we have Kirk Cousins, 72 speed. 85 throw power i'm gonna be honest I, I really feel like his throw power should have been higher not necessarily just because it's kirk cousins but in general i do think that if they wanted us to go ahead and actually use this kirk cousins card he needed higher throw power a lot of the top quarterbacks in the game right now uh have 87 plus throw power right michael vick just came out and he's got 88 throw power jj mccarthy has 87 throw power uh josh allen who is my current quarterback does have 87 throw power and Kirk Cousins is going to be here all of season two, which is going to be what, like 40 days or so. I don't know exactly. I, and yeah, he's only 85 throw power. So especially as an 89 overall, we're comparing him to 85 overall. Josh Allen who has 87 and these other QBs who are 88, 87 overall. Yeah, they have way higher throw power. That's just not good in my opinion. Uh, and he is a right-handed quarterback, right? Kirk Cousins is a right-handed quarterback, which is good. And the reason I mentioned that, by the way, is he has 72 throw power is because this is a card we didn't know was going to be coming. And that would be Michael Penix. Michael Penix right here, 84 speed, 88 throw power. So... For some reason, they just decided to make Kirk Cousins not that great, and Michael Penix is the better quarterback if you want one. But he has 84 speed on him, uh, 88 throw power, 87 short, 88 medium, 86 deep. Now, I will tell you guys this. Uh, in terms of his release, I don't know what it is off the top of my head. And on top of that, he is left-handed. And... Uh, you guys can let me know down below what you think about that. But personally, I just don't like left-handed QBs. It just is what it is. You know, I just don't really work too well with them. I like to roll out a lot to my left or a lot to my uh, right. And obviously, if you're a left-handed QB trying to roll it to the right, you get like that weird, you know, spinning animation. It just it doesn't work out too well for me. But that is Michael Penix. If you want a free quarterback... I would probably go with Michael over Kirk because, again, that throw power is bad, and Michael does have 84 speed. So that's pretty solid QB. After that, Brian Burns, 90 finesse move. Instantly just pops out right there. He also does have 86 speed, 88 excel, 79 strength, 83 block shed. 
So really, really good right outside linebacker. I mean, with the speed, with the finesse move, all that. And when you take a look at the other top right outside linebackers in the game, you know, a lot of people do have the Josh Hines Allen, the 85 overall ultimate alumni. By the way, in terms of those ultimate alumni, rookie premieres, all that, they did say last week that we were supposed to be getting those by Tuesday, which would be tomorrow so hopefully that is the case uh but lawrence taylor is like the best one lawrence taylor is 86 speed 88 excel so same speed same excel he does have a little bit higher strength to 83 he's got 86 power move 85 finesse move well i'll take the 90 finesse move 83 block shed right here on burns lt does have 82 block shed so free card versus currently a 1 million coin card i'll take the free card there uh, after that, we have Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene, very glad that he did, in fact, get 87 speed. Uh, and I, again, you know, kind of similar to what I said with Stefan Diggs. These cards are great, and they're free, and they're great. We are going to be going up in speed, though. Uh, currently, in terms of the fastest cornerbacks in the game, we only have 87 speed. I do think Nate Wiggins on Thursday is probably going to have 88 speed, but hey, 87 speed, 89 Excel, and he's got 89 zone. This is a really good card. Also does have 86 press, 83 man, 85 agility. I like the Cooper DeGene card. You can rock him at corner. Uh, depending on what his block shed is, hip power tackle, I have to see about all that. I think he's going to be pretty decent. Uh, maybe you take him, you can rock him out at corner, or you can even put him at safety if you happen to have other corners you'd rather have there. Uh, then we have Tyron Smith, 87 strength on him, 89 pass block, 86 run block really good left tackle you know if you do have your rookie premieres you probably have jc latham already a left tackle but you could always take tyron smith throw him at right tackle or do the same thing with latham so those are all of the season two 89 overall players uh you guys can let me know down below what you think about them i think overall pretty solid although kirk cousins and michael Penix, i think that's a very interesting you know kind of option there you have the two falcons qbs do you go with the old guy who's basically only better at being right-handed or you go with michael Penix, who's left-handed but better speed better throw power uh definitely some really really good options like i said we got to see tomorrow exactly how many of these cards we're going to be able to get for free because i don't know I, I don't know how many of them we're going to be able to get for free i also don't know how quickly we'll be able to get these cards for free but really some great options here guys so with that being said i will catch you guys in the morning like i said should be dropping at 10 30 we should see season two drop at 10 30 don't be surprised the field pass doesn't actually pop up until like you know 11 i definitely would not be shocked at all about that we also have a title update tomorrow i'd imagine anyways they would officially announce that but usually with new seasons we tend to get a title update so i think we'll see a new title update server maintenance is going to be down at, at 6 or 6 30 one of the two so make sure you guys get your final levels in right now and we should be able to get some of these free cards uh tomorrow at some point uh, in terms of actual content as well i don't believe we have any content coming tomorrow we do have preseason team of the week which is going to be on wednesday we also do have game time release one which is going to be on thursday and then of course legends on saturday so a really really crazy week of content but with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure to drop a like and video and of course that sub button down below like i said we have a college football game about to be on here at 7 30 uh follow me over on twitter i may even do some halftime picks as well and don't forget to use your three payout booster tokens you guys do have until 5 a.m eastern time tomorrow to use those we have a no sweat token which is going to be dropping tomorrow as well and i'm going to be posting a lot of nfl week one picks here probably tomorrow and then wednesday as well just a whole lot of stuff season two tomorrow very very excited if you guys enjoyed this video check out these